Hey guys, this is uh, Doc from Tully River Quail. Just wanted to share with you, a lot of folks have been posting, or some folks have been posting about the drunk quail. Um, I know sometimes they'll pop up and get their head boinked. Um, he's been in a 12-inch cage, maybe 11-inch cage for a bit. I moved him into a new cage, but it's outside. I'll show you. So he was in that middle section out there. And, you know, sometimes somebody will come up here, a fox or something, might scare him a little bit. But this guy doesn't seem to have much energy, a little listless, but he seems drunk. Let me just move him a little bit here. Now, he seems strong, but see, he falls over. Keep going, buddy. Now his feet are good. His eyes look clear. Um, he's doing a little better. At least he's able to stand now. But he wasn't really doing that good. So I... Damn camera. I took him out and put him in this little quarantine cage I made. And I have ample water on both sides since he couldn't move. I put some grapes in there. Put a little calcium. Uh, some ground up calcium pills on top of some grape slices. You can see I got some food in there all over the place. A couple places. I put a little sand bath in there with uh, stuff for diatomaceous earth. But he's getting a little better over the last couple days. But like I said, his feet are doing okay. Uh, she doesn't seem like she's egg bound. They're only five, six weeks old. Um, if anybody has any ideas or wants to give me a help on this, I'd appreciate that. I don't really know what to do for the boy. Um, just to show you, he was in the middle cage of here. And that's about 12 inches. So I'm thinking he maybe blinked his head. But it's been two days now. Like I said, he's getting a little better. But he's at least standing now before he was just laying down. So I'm trying to dip his beak in the water a couple times a day just so he gets, so he's drinking. Doesn't seem to want to eat on his own. Um, his eyes look okay. His feet look good. But... When I try to get him to walk, he gets wobbly like a drunken sailor. So I know there are some articles out there about Merrick's disease. I know that's usually for chickens. And then I also saw that there's some potential for H1N1. Um, here's his droppings. So they look pretty normal. But... I don't know what to do except watch him. Um, I'm trying to keep him warm, trying to keep him comfortable, trying to get him to eat stuff. 